can't even lie. It was a, it was a, it was a very heavy experience. I'm Jake Franklin. I'm an outfitter and guide in the state of California. I grew up on a little camp where we taught inner city kids how to ride horseback. I knew at a very young age that this was the life I wanted to lead. I wanted to be in the outdoors and I wanted to have a career in the outdoors. Growing up in Southern California, it's not the ideal place to hunt. It's extremely hard to find game. And so it really, really, really made me want to become a better hunter and made me want to do it better and better and better. You know, I think I went three years before I saw my first deer. So I started guiding at a young age and, and wanted to keep my year full. And I, I started guiding all over the world, chasing different hunting seasons and chasing different clients and where they're hunting and how they're hunting. I was doing all this with the sole purpose of eventually starting my own outfit. Recently, I've got out on my own and started Kika. Kika is a guiding and outfitting business, and this is my first client. The Serrano Indians are the Native Americans that inhabited the San Bernardino Mountains, and that's where I grew up. The Serrano language went extinct in 2002, so I wanted to use a word from the language. In the Serrano language, Kika is the leader or the chief. I wanted Kika to be the leader or the chief in conservation, education, and a quality hunt. My name's Dane Christensen, and this was my first hunt. When I was a kid, I, I didn't watch cartoons. I watched hunting and fishing shows.
Dane told me that he had never hunted a big game animal before and he drew the most coveted tag in the state of California. Last year, roughly 500 people applied for this tag and only two people get it each year. And this is truly something that most people will never experience. Not only is it Kika's first hunt, but it's our client's first big game hunt ever. Tule elk is only found in the state of California. It is a very highly regarded animal. Unlike your Rocky Mountain elk or your Roosevelt elk, they live in big open plains where they can see for miles and miles. The elk are named after the vast grasslands found here in the state of California. My preseason scouting is extremely extensive. I start months or even years before the client arrives. I first start out on paper, doing map work, figuring out where I would expect the elk to be. I then take my original research and see if it matches up in the field. I drive the roads, I figure out if in fact, the game are moving where I think they're moving, if, if they're doing what I think they're doing. I'm taking those old school techniques and using new technology inside of them. I'm using the most advanced technology to fulfill the most primitive goals. We had found and been watching a really old bull that separated himself from the herd during the rut, which allowed him to keep a full set of antlers with not one broken point. A rarity it's, that's hard to find on a hunt. As we were kneeled there in the brush, you could see those antlers from that bull getting closer and closer and closer. Finally, he breaks through the brush and he's standing there, beautiful as could be, totally broadside. All our preparation, all our hard work is coming down to this one moment. The bull is broadside and Dane is comfortable. I whisper to Dane, Take the shot. We took the animal, and I think we did it in the possibly the best way we could have done it, in the quickest way we could have done it, but I, I, I don't know how I felt. It, it took a while to settle in. Success isn't measured by just getting a trophy animal. It's about pushing yourself beyond your limits and completing your goal. From this hunt, I'm, I'm taking home food that's going to feed my family. 
I'm taking home a camaraderie of new camaraderie of friends, but knowing that none of this animal was going to waste was, was a little rewarding to me. We packed out every piece of meat possible off of this animal. And I can, I can only know that whatever was left behind goes immediately back into the ecosystem, whether it's a coyote, whether it's a fox. Not one ounce of this animal went to waste and I, and I can sleep well at night knowing that that happened. I could call, I feel I could call Jake anytime and say, hey Jake, I'm out here, what do I do? And he's gonna tell me, exactly. And you're gonna go stand behind a tree and you're gonna go here and you're gonna do this. And I feel like I've actually made friends along the way. I never felt like a client. I felt like I was with a group of buddies, which was exactly what I was looking for. It was such a powerful experience, such a powerful feeling for me that this really was a once in a lifetime run. My name is Dan Christensen. I'm a Thule Alcantara.